Guys, we're here to, to, to talk today about a 61st Street Farmers Market. It's a program of experimental station. We're a nonprofit down at Woodlawn. Uh, just as an opening shout out to uh, Kristen as well as uh, OpenGov Group because we found her for design services here, and we have a lovely new um, we have a lovely new kind of a, a look for our uh, marketing materials for 61st Street Farmers Market this year. So if you guys want to have some bridge magnets. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little reminder. The that landscape that. might not mean anything to you, but it's actually like if you're standing right in front of the market's banner, and that's a steam plant and University of Chicago kind of looming, and she did a really good job of capturing your, that you're at the market if you've never been there. So, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, so we just say beep or <laughs> just point okay. or just cool. <laughs> cool. So uh, Daniel was going to do it by himself tonight, and he dragged me here. I have a fourth grade cooking class going down at Experimental Station right now. Um, as part of our farmer's market outreach, they're making some homemade pizzas and chopping some onions. So if my cell phone does ring, a fourth grader probably lost a finger, so I might, <laughs> might have to uh, step out. So excuse me for that. But uh, So the 61st Street Farmer's Market will be entering our seventh year um, down at Experimental Station. Farmers markets have um, various different missions. Our mission, um, when it was founded in 2008, was to provide fresh food to the south side area that does not have it. So it's a very different mission than some of the other farmers markets around, which aren't necessarily bad missions to cater to chefs and things like that. But ours is explicitly to serve underserved communities. That's the mission and, and why it was founded. And that that is what all of our programs are built around. You can go ahead and click. So just a little bit about um, Experimental Station, and by the way, this is a, a really loosely structured um, presentation. I actually haven't even seen some of the slides we put in there, so uh, <laughs> please shout out the questions when you, uh, when you see them on the screen or if you have them. We're not going to save the questions to the end. I kind of want to just take the conversation where it's going to go and where you all want to uh, take it. So a um, little bit of background about Experimental Station. Um, so what we do down on the south side of Woodlawn is build independent cultural infrastructure. Um, and rather tell you what that is, I'll just tell you what it looks like and what our programs um, actually do. So um, the big one is healthy food access with the 61st Street Farmers Market, Link Up, Illinois, where we work with about 50 markets um, across the state and 15 city of Chicago markets to provide food stamp, which is also Link, EBT, Food Stamp, SNAP, those are acronyms. All mean um, food stamps at 15 city Chicago markets, um, and we provide double value coupon funding so folks shopping at farmers markets, every dollar they spend with their link card is matched up to $25 at the experimental station, 61st Street Market. So you swipe 25, you get 50. Um, so we work a lot with those um, healthy food at healthy food access advocacy programs. Um, we also have Blackstone Bicycle Works, which is a full service bike shop with the youth education. Um, Focus mission. We work. There's about 300 kids um, at our program throughout the whole year, um, and they learn. We have this apron system, different color aprons. They learn how to fix up bikes, how to work with the point of sale machine, um, all that good stuff. Uh, Invisible Institute, human rights um, and journalism um, institution. They currently doing a lot of work now with Chicago Public Schools um, and working with security guards and providing. Um, training videos for security guards and how they interact with um, students and what that means for uh, the culture of violence. Um, and then we host, we have a great space down there if you've never been down to 6100 um, South Blackstone. We do all sorts of different arts and public events. Um, just name one uh, recent one. So back in January when Illinois passed the concealed carry law, we did a call for proposals for artists and they did a bunch of installations on what concealed carry is going to mean for um, our society. So that's just a quick snapshot of experimental station and all the stuff we do before we get into the, the nitty gritty. Go ahead. Uh, 